In this video, I'll show you how to repair Bose wired earbuds. So the jack at the end here has gotten damaged just from being bent a lot. It's caused some shorts in the earbuds. You can see it's splitting all across. So I'll be showing you how we're gonna cut it off and put a replacement jack on. And that's what I'll cover in this video. So what you'll need, the essentials first and then the extra stuff. First thing you'll need is a good soldering iron. Um, I have the AOU 469 and I love it. I had a fancier model from the same brand before but it burned out and this was a much cheaper replacement and it does everything I need it to do. It has eight temperature settings that you just control with this knob and we'll see it in use in a minute. You'll also need a replacement TRRS adapter. Because this model has a microphone with it, you have to have the four rings on it. So these three are for audio, and this bottom one is for the microphone. I also have a glue gun, and I have some extra heat shrink tubing that I'll put on just to make it look a little nicer and to help hold a little better. All right, so we'll get set up and get started. So first step, I always trim off just a little bit above where the damage is. Cause I don't know how far down the cable's damaged. And then I always put on the so you have to put this cap on first, you know. I've forgotten that many times. So you just slide it down, and then if you're gonna put heat shrink tubing on there, just to make it look nicer in the end, go ahead and slide that on too. All right. Uh, also, you probably wanna be heating up your soldering iron so it'll be ready when you need it. I like to use, you can use wire strippers, but I've accidentally cut into the cables before, so I prefer to just use some fine tip tweezers. Kind of pry the cable back. So you want to peel it back, but not too much, maybe an inch and a half or two inches. And trim off the extra. So first off, you just want to separate all these wires. And then these are just, it's just some fabric they put in there to help strengthen. But you can clip those off, the yellow ones. Not the copper ones, the copper ones are very important. They ground the earbuds. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and start twisting the same colors together. And I'll zoom in and show you when I'm done. Alright, here we go. So we'll just untwist this from around the white one, which is our microphone. And the, the green is to ground the microphone. And you can see that some of the coating is coming off the white. And that's fine, don't worry about that. Try to leave most of it on, but it's okay if some comes off. All right, so now I'm gonna twist the green and the copper together. All right, so we've got, let's see here. So we've got our green and copper, our blue, our white, and our red. And the order is going to be the green and copper, then the red, then the blue, then the white. So I usually trim down, trim down the red and the blue just a tiny bit, because they'll be further down on the adapter. And then you trim down the white pretty far. I'm going to go about halfway down. All right. So now we're ready to solder. 
So for soldering, the first thing you want to do is, well you want to tin the tip of your soldering iron. And then we're going to get a little bit of solder on each of these connections. So this bottom one is the microphone. The top is going to be your ground on this particular jack. Oops, I got some extra on there. That's fine. I'm just gonna smooth it out. All right, so the top is ground. The next is red, which is right. And the third one is blue, which is left. So after we've got that, we will go ahead and tin the tips of these with a little bit of solder. So you just get it close to it and it takes a minute, but you just wait till there's a little bit of solder coating the end and move on to the next one. And you may have to clean off your soldering iron in between. I usually do two and then I'll clean it off. Alright, so when that's done, you don't, you really don't need a lot. So I trim off a little bit of the extra, I don't know measurement wise, but you just, I mean, you just need a, enough to just solder it down onto the, onto the jack. It's really not much. If you can see, just a tiny bit on the end of each one. So I always start with the top. So that's the green and copper. And then the red. Ah. The red was wanting to stick to the green and copper, which you don't want them, you don't want them touching. So the white's just about good. It was almost too short, but it was about perfect. So I'm trying to get a nice close-up of this before we finish up to show you, but we've got the green and copper on top and the red in the middle, blue on the third, and we've got our white on the bottom. So after your glue gun's hot, I like to put a little bit of glue on the top three. and a little bit down here on the microphone. And that's just to protect everything that you just did while you're testing them. Because you really don't want something coming undone and having to redo it. So then I just slide the cap over and just we'll plug it in and test. So here's left, we're good. Here's right, good. As far as the controls, I can pause it, but um, these are actually for Apple devices. I just have an Android, so all that works on here is just the play pause. Um, I mean, the, the volume I can check, but I'd have to get out an iPhone or an iPod for that. All right, so now that we know it works, that's great. Let's go ahead and pull this down. I go ahead and put a good bit of glue all right. So the next part I do, another thing just to secure it, I have some super glue. And I just put a little bit right on the end here to kind of hold the heat shrink tubing in place. And I put a little on top as well. It's just some extra little things you definitely don't have to do, but I just kind of out of habit or practice. And then I usually put a little bit of glue 
on the hot glue and then screw in the cap. So then I have a heat gun that I'm going to shrink this tubing with. You could use a hair dryer if you don't have a heat gun. Just don't keep heat on here for too long or you could melt the glue and potentially your wiring could come undone. So I just use the heat gun to shrink it down, shrink the tubing down a little. And it's good to go. Um, well, thank you very much and post a comment if you have any questions or if you would like, you have any suggestions for a future video.